Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you how I created this plan a planner page featuring dies and stamps from the Planner Essentials line. The dies I'm going to use are the Planner Film Strip die set, that's the main die I'm using. Then I'm using the April from the month uh, die set because the pictures are taken in the month of April. Then I'm using the Planner Essentials 11 die sets because I love those reinforcements. And the main page is done by the Planner Essentials 4 die set. So when you start uh, collecting your planner dies, you know, you can mix and match them, of course. Then I'm using two stamp sets, uh, the Retro Label uh, Sayings and the My Life Clear stamp set. So the page I'm going to fill today, uh, first of all, I changed to a line planner because it's kind of spring. So I did already... Uh, do this page in one of my YouTubes and this one and I'm going to fill the pages in between today. So let, let's get started first. So uh, I want to show you this quickly. Uh, that's how the main page is done and this is another page but it's just a fun easy way to to work with those powders and there's several brands on the market but this is the brush show I'm using here and it is such a quick and easy way to get a Nice result for a page. So this is our white soft finish cardstock, of course. And there's a push pin in here because you don't want to take the lid of this because there's a lot of powder in there and it will get messy quickly. And then any any sprayer. So this is just a mist. So you see, and this is what it does. And then you have your main page. And then you can either let it air dry or I can tap it a little bit. You see, I can take some off, but I will just put this uh, put this aside. And when it dries, it will just be a straight page. But that's just a really nice base for a planner page. So let me put this aside and clean this off because that pigment will keep going. So you want to make sure it's all gone. So uh, what I did, so I cut all kind of, so this is the film strip, so I cut all the elements. So this is the film strip and let me show you the die. Get that here. So this is the film strip. So um, you have the strip itself and then you have the two frames and you have the little tab here. And that little tab I already kind of a clipboard uh, thing here. I put already put it on a large folder that I'm going to use later on another page because this will just be a main picture on a page because I love it so much. So that's just one of the elements that's on the same set. And um, so I already put some pictures in here and then here I have some pictures that I kind of met, met it already. So I thought I'm going to do a layout with this. See kind of that. And then I have this as well. So this is one of the frames. So those frames, so what it cuts, it cuts the inner frame and then it also cuts the outer frame. You see, so you, have, you can play with different colors there, which is fun to do. So um, what I'm going to do, I was also thinking maybe put this picture underneath the film strip. So I have kind of the yellow because it's kind of a spring page. So I wanted to pay, uh, bring the color yellow back. And this is actually in the Denver Zoo. And I love going there with the kids. So um, this is already, so I cut the picture of the elephant. And what I do with pictures, so I actually cut a piece of transparency that's a little bit larger than the frame that you see. So it's easy to kind of focus on the picture, which part you want to cut out and which will be on the frame. So in this case, it's the elephant that's going in there because the kids loved watching the elephant. And I backed everything already with double-sided adhesive. So now I can just focus where I want that picture, where I want that elephant to be. Here you go. And just stick it in there. And that's ready to go on the page. I put it aside for a second because I'm going to put this one here first. And this is going to be here. Let me see. I'm just going to play. And this is actually the outer frame of one of the dies, you see. So I'm going to use it as a background, kind of bring it all together with bringing things back. So this is going to go underneath here, about here. So just line it up on the side of the page, get it straight. And I, you know, I can't say enough. It's so much fun working on the planner. I've never been a scrapbooker because that's too much for me. Um, too much work and too, too big. And this is so much fun because I can take it everywhere. So when I travel to Europe, I will take this to my parents and show it. And it, you know, it is honestly, it's fun to work with. So I know there's a lady that's taking like updates from her garden every week and that's such a fun way to use the planner and that's I think what I'm eventually going to do working with this now for a few months uh, for me I think I'm thinking doing a, like a page like a double a spread a week 
so I can really keep track of what we're doing. And just little notes. I'm not a big writer, so I'm just going to do little notes, say where it was, which date, and that, you know, just fun. And this, of course, so this is in the Denver Zoo. They have a beautiful display of uh, narcissus. So it's... And then this picture was also taken in the zoo. Grandpa with the kids. Okay, and then I have the frame here. So this is already sticky, of course. So it's going to go here. And then I'm going to put one of the black frames around it. So it's going to overlap a little bit, which is fine. And then I'm going to put this one around. So everything has our double-sided adhesive already on the back, our clear double-sided adhesive. And you die-cut it and it's ready to go. So it's no mess messing with wet glue. It's just so easy. Okay, so that's that one. And then I'm going to work on this one. And what I did already, so you saw I, I matted all those little pictures with the yellow cardstock because of spring. So this film strip also has the double-sided adhesive on the back. And I already put a few pictures in, but I want to show you how I do that. So I print the pictures with my uh, selfie. And then, um, so here I put on film strip. So that's about the size that I need for a picture for the film strip. So I can kind of see, okay, w which picture, where do I want to use it? which part of the picture. So I'm doing this one. So uh, Tom had a so Tom had a shark, the face paint shark, and Annika had a unicorn. And they loved it. You see, so now I have a permanent, so you do that with a permanent marker and I just stay a little bit inside that line. Doesn't need to be too precise, just a little bit in the line. And then you have your picture. And I print my pictures with a selfie printer. I know there's different ones out there. So again, this one has double-sided adhesive on the back, but I'm going to put a strip there, like a double-sided adhesive in the middle as well. So now I can just put this here. You see, and just adhere it. And I can check it if it's good. Yeah, perfect. And I cut this one already as well. Let me see. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put, so it has the double-sided adhesive on the side already, but I want to have it more secure, so I'm just going to add a strip of the double-sided adhesive on the side here as well. And I want to put this behind it, so it kind of shows a little bit of the daffodils. What did I say before? I think I said it wrong. I, said, I, I think I said hyacinth. Did I say it wrong? I think I did. It's daffodils. Okay, so the film strip, of course, you can put it in an angle if you want to and just trim off the, like the top and the bottom part. It's overlapping, but it is uh, made to set up. Oh, wait, I want to put this on first. It's made to kind of uh, as exactly the same height as the page itself. I'm going to offset this here. So I'm going to line this up. And I'm looking at the edge here of the page. See, so now you have your film strip page. And I think I like to just do the edge here. And again, never needs to be perfect. Just kind of a finishing touch on the page. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to have the month of April as well, of course. So I was thinking when I do this layout, I think I want to have this color coming back and I'm probably going to uh, put the black on top, like make a shadow. And the months are a great size to use. Missing my small tweezer. Forgot to bring that. There we go. I'm going to use it like this. Now I'm going to use it like this. Here on the bottom of the page. Okay, got the tweezer because I need to get the dot out. So I just offset it a little bit. So it just has that craft collar peeking through a bit. There we go, and then we're going to do a few stamps and the reinforcements, of course. So I have reinforcements, and I had some left from the page I did earlier uh, in the teal color. 
because that's the that's the label I used on the other um, on the other page I made. So I thought I'm going to use those because then I can have that color coming back on the pages as well, which I thought was kind of brings it all together. Two more here, and I'm just going to stack them. Oh, I tried one already here. Okay, and then bring the spring color in. Maybe a tiny yellow one here. So those are all the reinforcements. And we just have a little bit of stamping uh, to do. Let me get the stamp sets. So of course the happy is fun because the kids and the grandparents were very happy at the Denver Zoo. That's nice. I'm going to use the funny detail because that's actually something that was funny. Like you see Joop smiling there. That is because I told him something that was funny. So that's a funny detail for me. So I have that there. And I thought I'm going to use a few of those decorative. I like the dots here. And I'm going to write here. So I'm going to write some personal notes in there as well. But I love those decorative edges on the My Life. Uh, so I just thought I'm going to do, kind of almost looks like the nails of the elephant's uh, feet. So, and have that come back here a few times. And then maybe one at the bottom. And I'm going to put one at the top there, here. And I think that's it. And then I'm going to put those pages back in my planner, here. And the other one is going here. And then, so this is an earlier video. This is the one I made today, going to add some personal notes. And then we have this one. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I suggest a couple of videos I think you enjoy as well. And don't forget to download the free project sheets. See you next time.